Happy on the asset social, man. Glory to you over Roy T. I niggas know the vibe. Thanks, guys. 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 Thanks, guys
This is the low key plug right there. What do you think? <laughs> low. What? You want those shoes? I do, but I don't at that price. All right. Three for three for one forty five. That's what we're doing. Yeah, you can call me. All right. I mean, don't yeah, bro, you <laughs> This kid's been hustling for the past probably three, four months, buying these shoes up, ninety dollars a piece. They're selling them to me right now for one thirty, one forty. You know, you do that enough times, flipping over the inventory enough times, come up and make quite a bit of money doing this. Especially if you're 15, 16, 17 years old, like a lot of these guys are. You know, they're paying for their college, they're paying for cars. Some of them are opening stores. Look for it. Look for it. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't got a coin. We're going to throw your coin for five bucks. We got, we're going to short $5 bill here, so we're just going to throw it. Okay. I got something. All right, let's call it. Call in the air. All right. Tails. Oh, I gave you the balance. Yeah. Thank you. That's you. That's you. Good. That's you. Appreciate you, man. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Normally we have a table so we can kind of just go run it over there, throw them behind the table or the booth, sometimes even sell them for more than what we actually paid for in the show, but right now we're kind of just focused on getting some inventory for the stores, especially some, uh, some teas because a lot of the hot sellers that we've been moving in the store are Supreme Teas, V-Lone, Vape. You got the key? Already five pairs of shoes just like that. A few thousand dollars already spent. Gotta go do it again. You got a better eye than me. You guys do sort of uh, bulk for stores? Say it again? You do bulk for stores? Yeah. We have two stores in Tampa and we have a mobile bus as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, as long as we have stock to sell, then yeah, yeah exactly. Absolutely. Do you guys source from like just other, like, like random? Many, many different avenues, you know, whether it's rag houses or, or other people that sell. Uh, uh, thrifts online. Thrifting, right? That's what I was gonna say. Thrifting. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a very it's a very large mix of different avenues. No, that's super cool. You guys do it. It's hard work though. It seems like yeah, all that stuff. Jay, my partner and I, we tour for a living. Yeah, I've been touring. I've, I've been on the road for 15 years. He's been on the road for 17 years. So this is a mixture of all of our music knowledge from all the years on the road. You want trophies at 21, that means you want these retail. Huh? Hey, you got an Instagram shout out on the page. Yeah, the real ratchet, bro. I'll be doing my Stop thing. Yes, do the music, I do the music shit over here, man. Go to Cali and cop 10 packs. Why he talking like a plug? I can go downtown right now and spin this real up in the club. Man, we get money too, you know. Oh, um, yeah. You let me know though. 360, that's big one for like big one. Surprise very well. Yeah, nah, what, 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 where y'all? You got a store? We got two stores. Where in at? Tampa. Where at? Brandon Mall and uh, Countryside Mall. So Black keep, keep doing your thing, man. Shout out. Get your money, bro. Yeah, yeah. See, with our game is a little different than their game because we have a retail store, so a lot of people come in and they'll pay a little more money than the market value just to have it today and not have to wait on it. These guys, they buy for value. You know, they're buying lows for ninety dollars at retail, and uh, and then come in places like this and flipping them. So. With us, you know, we can charge 200 bucks for a pair of mids, you know, because you know we're at a pretty premium mall, and, and and the traffic kind of allows for it. So 
that's kind of what we're looking for. If we could buy a pair for 130 and sell it for 200, 220, that's better ROI for us rather than paying for a shoe for 300 and selling it for 400. You know, so we do have limited amount of money, especially with two stores to, to fill it out. You need about half a million dollars per store, I would say, um, to really fill out and, and, and have all the right sizes, all the variations, so you can have a good retail experience, but it, uh, it costs a lot of money. What if we get all of them? Could you do better or no? Yeah, I could do better if you get all of them. I'll do 30 a pop if you get them all. I love, I love the Jeters. These are like some of my favorite shoes. The Jeters. Is, is it used? Size nine they now. are used, yes. Mm -hmm. What's the best you can do? I'll put it right on my toe. That's my, that's my size. You want to do 230 right now? What? 230? Blue eyes. I can do 220. Yeah, for the price I paid for them, bro, I got a... I feel you, bro. No, that's a good shoe. I like them. How much for the All Stars? Uh, is it gonna be size 13? Are uh, you looking for both? I uh, I'd probably do this one 150 and then this one 170. You put this like. See, we just paid. Yeah. Uh, paid 135 at the other booth for the exact same pair, so we're trying to find somewhere around there. Yeah. Oh, you, Appreciate that, boys. Yeah, man. And then, uh, what's your Instagram? Sorry. Oh yeah, follow us. Fly first. Take care. It's fine. We can definitely do that. Stop smiling so much. Yes, you can smile when you face that way. <laughs> yeah. Man doesn't know how to hide hide a, hide his hands. It's a 270, and he immediately just lit up. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's like, that's crazy, right? So, in a traditional asset class, you have a pretty tight bid and ask, you know, if you're talking about stocks or crypto or whatever. But here, you could go from one end of the building to the other, and it could be a 20% price difference, and people still willing to buy it. So, that's what's so fascinating about these assets, I think, is the, the, the spreads are huge right now. And the competition is still kind of small. Right now we're trying to work a bulk deal, a pair of OG Court Purples, 17 pairs, see if we can get the number down. Looks like a lot of this stuff is, is pretty overpriced, at least to the point where we can make good money and invest off of it. Well, what's, he gonna do? what's the best you can do for me for all the fans? All the fans? Yeah, bro. This is, this is all the bands I got right here. I know, I remember. I took all of them last Orlando sneaker show from you. What, uh, Fly Fred? Yeah. Oh, I see. You got the chain. So what, you work at the Wet Shore one? I, I'm CEO, so I bounce around, you know? Because I fuck with, uh, what's it, Kevin? Kevin Gusani, yeah. He's yeah. the long hair at Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he's bought a lot of shit from me. Yeah, he's good people. Yeah. So you want all the bands? If you can work a good number you for You want me. no Royals? I'll take Royals too. I'm about to ask you again, huh? You let me know though. <laughs> You'll get them gone, I know it. So, one, 123 is retail and tax on the men's pair. And I have a. Uh, I have them at 125 and 135. You know what I'm saying? So, you do 120. Oh no, hold on, that's banned. Yeah, you got them listed at 150. Yeah, so, what if we did like one, 140? For all, what do you have? There's, I mean, some are great. There's two great schools. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight all together. So six men's, two great schools. So, how does that come out to? So 140 times six equals 140 times six equals 840 plus, and then we got, I have three, it says I have three GS. I see a five and a half, a six Y. It says I have three, so I have one somewhere else. Uh, 
Um, what are those seven and a half? Are those the Royals? These are all Royals. All right. So that's 840 for the six. And then you got the and then you got the, and the kids' pants. So uh, I got 115 and 120 and 115. So say. One ten of piece. There's no duplicates in there? That's the full size. Alright, yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. One ten a piece yeah. for the kids. Yeah. One ten. It's like a thousand sixty or something, right? Eleven seven. Eleven seventy? Yeah. Whoa. We had eight forty, right? Eight forty and then I did one ten times three. Oh, I thought there was only two. So we're at hundred and ten for the the kids. 110 for the youth, for the youth, and then 140 for the men's pair. All right, that's fine. 11-7. All right, been about. You. Yeah, yeah. He bought out all of his band mids. 11-7. He counted it twice, but he wouldn't be insulted if he counted it again. These are these are a good mover for us. Like I was saying, these mids. They sell well in the store because instead of, you know, these actually, these are the band ones. These are like $800 compared to the exact same looking shoes for $200. People buy these a lot. And they're two centimeters shorter. Two centimeters shorter. I got them right here if you want to measure. So, tell me the difference. Said mine are 800 and these are 150. So that's why we sell a bunch of them in the store because someone could buy a whole t-shirt, outfit, everything for the price of, you know, a pair of one highs if they get a pair of mids and a t-shirt. So we stock up, we need to have these in the store at all times. How much did you spend on those tees? All together, like 500. Just fueling up real quick. Spending a lot of energy inside. It's getting hot out. Got my black Corum Heart tee on. It's not feeling too good outside right now. But uh, see how the line's getting pretty long because this is when the real activity really starts for the, uh, for the vendors. You know, we, we're going to be long gone by the time these guys get in here because all the good deals are gone and uh, we'll let the, vet, the local vendors kind of make some money on the, on the local patrons and they'll go in there and buy shoes specifically for themselves, not necessarily to resell. These are guys that are, that are trying to, to shop for themselves and they're going to pay a little higher price than what I'm willing to pay. So uh, that's what's happening. We'll go in there for maybe another 45 minutes, spend some more money, and, and then we'll be out. What shoe is it? I cannot see the screen. It's gonna go down, but it's gonna go. They're gonna go. You really think they're gonna go up? Stock was doo doo. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Three forty. Well, so what'd you say? I'm selling them for five hundred bucks. So a ten plus how much? Or a nine and a half, whichever you want. Huh? I got a nine and a half. How much cash? Hundred bucks. Hundred. It's a deal, bro. It's fair. Lowest ask is four thirty four. That's what I'm saying. Realistically, it's a four hundred dollar shoe. Getting the better deal. I think you are, honest. For the coin? Running. Okay. You want to put the coin? Uh, 130 or 140? I don't got a five on me. I should have bought that for 325. Huh? I should have bought that for 325. Yeah, you should have. How much you pay for your trophy? 18. 18. Pre-order or? Nah. Um, I got them before release date. No box? No, I got the price. That's a good price. They just don't have the blue lace. Okay. Yeah, we got a pair with, without the blue laces, no box early. We're not. Yeah, Aaron's not. He doesn't want to show them, right? We're we're gonna hold them, wait for them to go up. Right now, the market's crazy on them. I think the market's actually turned off based on how much is back door and stuff. But yeah, I would I would hold on to them till they get into like four thousand range. Is that the extra pair? Yeah. You want them for 325? Looks good. Yeah. You want Santa pair? Co pages for 325? Can't do any better. 
Three hundred. Yeah. Need the three flat. Yeah. yeah, we'll take that. One minute. One minute. I'll come right back over here. You want to be That's a real good deal. That's the shoe that came out today. Yeah, well, Joe pays this for three hundred as well. Yeah, sure. Charging five fifty in the store sometimes. What's up, guys? I'm here with the organizer of the Orlando Sneaker up, Convention. Guys? This is the second time I've been here. Huge turnout. Lines all the way wrapped around the building. Why don't you introduce yourself real quick to the Hey, how's it going, listeners. guys? My name's Frank. Super excited to have Fly Fred here, one of the best stores in Tampa. We got a great show going on, guys. If you missed this one, yeah, you fucked up. But anyways, guys, we definitely would love to have you guys out. Fly Fred's out here cashing out. Check out their store. They're going to have tons of new inventory. We got over 220 vendors on this one, so we're blasted out. Appreciate you guys. Much love. It peels off too. That's why some people are complaining. I think it looks better with the peel. I mean, they're pretty dope. It's like a friends and family time to try this, yeah. The infrared kind of been growing on me. It's like, eh. They're doing numbers, right? How much uh, How much you pay to I mean, in a store, I see you can sell them for like 500 but I mean, the market's like around 350 I think. You got, you got this wrong um, I paid 300 for them just now, yeah. Just closed the deal. Uh, 19 pairs of uh, Court Purple Ones. About $5,500. Appreciate them looking out, you know, taking care of us. Just cashing out, you know, that's what we do with the Fred, baby. So, just real quick, double checking that all these core purples are absolutely legit, you know, can't be too too safe, especially when you're doing a nearly $6,000 transaction. That would be tragic if all of them turned out to be fake. No disrespect to the seller. <laughs> so we're doing, uh, we're using some of our own ways of making sure they look, and then also we're just gonna run a couple of check checks real quick using the app. So we just submitted it to the check check. We'll wait a couple minutes, get some uh, hopefully pass result. Otherwise, we'll have some issues. Right. That's a wrap. It's Orlando Sneaker Convention. I would say the turnout was pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, we did good, man. In and out. Never mind. I'll leave we that. We made what up. deals where there was to be had. That court purple kind of saved the day a bit. Thanks to Jack for putting that together. Hitting up that tape probably three or four times. And, uh, you know, compared to Miami and other Tampa Sneaker Traveler events, I'd say that's pretty on par with everything else. You know, the line was getting really busy and the place was getting pretty thick right as we were leaving. So yeah. I would say that we got out right at the right time, but uh, definitely a good event and uh, excited to check it out next year. Well, we got those 19 pairs of core purple ones. Those were good. Um, we got a bunch of a bunch of mids that we really needed for the store, band mids, we're running out on those. So we got some size runs of those. Got a lot of Supreme shirts that we badly needed. Um, a couple Yeezys. Some, some of those vintage tees, those were cool. Um, some of the Topaz 4s that came out today, and then also, um, oh yeah, the, the gold nines that we got. So overall, it was good, good, good use of cash. Spent probably about a good 20 grand, and uh, that'll go well in the store, you know, in the coming weeks. And then we got sneaker travelers next weekend. Probably, you know, spend ten times that amount and make sure that we have enough going into the into the spring season. So, um, just looking forward to all these upcoming events. Good to see actually some other vendors in there selling some sports cards and uh, and other types of collectibles in there, not just shoes. That was pretty neat to see. And um, yeah, that's a wrap. I have a whole list of um, stuff comes out to about $300,000 what we're looking at to purchase. Um, 
and they might bring some extra goodies for us to check out just because they're always looking to sell they're always buying some new stuff but i'm jay lucky